Hello and welcome to another episode of FM23 Tottenham Hotspur. I am Duper Daddy and as you can see in this episode, I've got my suit back on. We are in another final for FA Cup final, so let's get to it. As you can see, this is our cup run. In the third round, we beat Man United 3-1. We was at Old Trafford. Brilliant start to our FA Cup journey. And then we move on to the fourth round and we play Everton with Mokioko getting a hat-trick. We was at home there. And then it got a bit easier for us. Started off really hard, Man United, Everton. And then we played Blackpool away. Fifth round, we win 3-0 with Collison, Kane and Joe Roden on the score sheet. Then we move on to the quarterfinals and we play Southampton at home and we destroy them 4-0. Kamavinga, two goals. Kane won and Udegi on the score sheets. Because the other semi-final was Leeds United versus Burnley. And then you got Tottenham Liverpool first and second in the league. It was no brainer that if we won this, we got a very, very good chance of winning for FA Cup. We've won for Carabao Cup, as you've seen already. And I've really been designing my tactics to try and combat Liverpool. At the moment, they won for league last year. They won for league again this year. They knocked us out of Champions League last year in the semi-final. So I've been tweaking my tactics. And funny enough, I just don't know if it works for my team. And I just probably have to accept that I might just have to play a Liverpool tactic. Because I've worked out how to beat them. This is the second game that we've played Liverpool since we lost in end of December. And we've won them both. We've won them both. Obviously, the Carabao Cup final. And now for semi-final and for FA Cup. So I've got a winning formula. Yes, it did go to extra time. But Harry Kane to the rescue. 95th minute and then for 110th minute. That means we're playing Leeds United. As you can see, I've got five days on my date up top. So I will see you when it's time to select my team. All right, we are back. And I think this is going to be for team that I want to play. Apart from Udegi, he didn't get his fitness back in time. So that's going to be an easy change to Sassanion. And then Kamavinga. They're both beyond the bench most likely and they most likely will have some sort of impact. I'm going to go for Ben Tinkle and Brian Gill. I mean, we could play Kalaveski, but Le Celso has not been playing great. And Loris Cobell has lost his spot. His form has been absolutely awful. It's making me nervous that I might have to get rid of him already. Oh, yeah, Kim Min Jae. Oh, yeah, Romero and Joe Roden has been playing better. But Romero makes me nervous. I would still prefer Kim Min Jae. I might be getting rid of Romero. Got that Scalvini coming in. I'm going to give him a go. I don't feel as nervous as the Carabao Cup because Carabao Cup was playing Liverpool. But the way we've been playing is the tail end of last season has been such a whirlwind of inconsistency. I'm scared for this, but I'm not nervous. Bit of a weird feeling. I guess it's unknown of what team's going to come out, what Tottenham is going to turn up. Is it going to be a Tottenham that I know that we can play? Or is it just going to be they get a quick goal and I panic? Winning for FA Cup would undoubtedly be for pinnacle of Tottenham's campaign. Yeah, FA Cup's bigger than Carabao Cup, obviously. Great heritage for FA Cup. This game is one of the very biggest and all of Tottenham fans are sure to be. I would prefer it to be Champions League final. But that's fine, we're doing well. Semi-final last year and Champions League quarterfinals this year. There's a little tension. There you go. There's my form. One, loss. One, one, loss. What's Leeds form? One, one, loss, loss, loss. They've lost three in a row. Yeah, it makes me feel a little bit better. But what Tottenham is going to turn up today? No. Uh, it's offside. Oh, yeah, go watch that Mitrovic. Go on, son. Thing is, we will have chances. It's going to be pending on if we finish those chances. Because our attack is world class. Our defense, it needs a lot of work. I don't know. Are they playing a cam? I think so. Go on, Kane. Kalaveski. Yes. After playing dumb football, we get a goal from their dumb football. Dumb dumb. Dumb gum for my dumb. Dumb gum for dumb dumb. Is that how it goes on night at the museum? Go on, great boy. Make up for your dumb football. 
Alright, so sitting on. I'm nervous. Every time we're playing out from back here. Klaveski finds it. Sun. Can Sun finish it? Yes. 2 0. We're going to do for double. Well, no, no, no. It's too early. It's only a 32nd minute, but you never know. They might come back. We played Southampton and we beat them 7 4. We was winning 4 1. They came back 4 3, and then obviously we got seven goals. Yeah, Minjay caught just ball watching. Literally just stood there watching the ball over and Mitrovic ran into it. Okay, right. Uh, I'm not going to change anything up yet. I'm happy. Let's go again. Get third. Then it should be killed off. All right, Brian. Free kick. Can you get this one in? Again, direct. No, off the wall. And Messler. Safe hands. I haven't had a shot on target yet, which is always good. Apart from like this little goal. Right, now it's Leeds. Thing is, if they get one back, it's squeaky bum time, right? That's why a third is probably would be ideal. Gone, son. He has a crack. No, couldn't find a way through. Right, 68th minute. Uh, Brian Gill's playing rubbish. So I'm going to bring on Rick Carlson and change Sun and Collison around there. Min Jay's playing rubbish. Maybe that was a bad choice changing it. Play Romero. Any fitnesses? I mean, uh, Sun, keep him on for a little bit longer. And Emerson Royal. Any changes? Maybe stop playing out of defense. Just because they've caught me off a couple of times, I'm going to try off a drop off more. High, high line, but drop off more. See what that does. I haven't tried that one before. Is that going to mess me up? Nervousness of that if they got two goals back and we take Sun and Kane off. Getting into extra time. Gone, Sun. Great play, Bente. Bentencor. Sun's through. Yes, now they can come off. 3 0. Job done. Wow. We've done for double. Second in the league, quarterfinal in Champions League. All right, Kane, make it go on. Sun off. Uh, I've got no one to replace it. Oh, yeah. Kalaveski and then Sun. The Celso made four changes. I'll keep one just in case we get an injury. I still have managed a shot on target. They've had four shots quite early on in the half, wasn't it? Second half. So, second half. Sorry, first half. So, second half. They haven't had a shot. McCollison. 4 0. Comes on and gets a goal. They all want to be part of a party. See, this is the football we can play. Couple of nervousness before we got for goal with Sessignon playing dumb football and Min Jae just watching the ball. All right. Is there someone I can just chuck on for the last few minutes? I'm going to bring on Kamavinga. He's played well this season. Final minutes, get a taste of the final. I mean, he would have started, but obviously he's got, he wants to be rested or he's got fitness issues. Long season. Let's watch this. I want to do some screen grabs. I did a bit of a stupid moment. I was pressing Alt F1 to do screenshots off the celebration because I wanted to see if I could get anything for a thumbnail. And I forgot that F1 stops recording for me. And then F2 is pause. It's just little, some shortcuts that I have them for recording software. So it stopped recording and I'm now editing the video and I just realized. <laughs> so I've had to come back and do another bit of recording just to close off the video. And we're quickly going to just run through the clips that I took. So Kane shaking hands there. I don't know who the guy is. He's going to give the trophy to Kane. And there you go. The team's lifting up. I'm on the left hand side. Loads of confetti, fireworks, brilliant. And I took a photo of, well, for email, Tottenham celebrate a double. Double. Four nil. Brilliant. So double. So I have started my third season. I'm in for transfer, transfer window at the moment. I'm going into pre-season. But I don't want to say anything. I'm excited. I brought in a big signing. Another big signing. It's like one, si one big signing a year for me. Uh, nah. I can't tell you who it is. You're going to have to stay tuned. You're going to have to subscribe to my channel and um, wait until it gets uploaded, I guess.
Pa patience is the virtue. Remember, I have a job. This is a part-time thing. It is what it is. Should we just quickly run through my end of season review? I'm not going to take you through for detail. Uh, end of year review for, for season 23-24. Dijan Kalaveski and Kim In Jae played pretty well. Kalaveski is his second season. He got 16 assists, 8 goals. Kim In Jae played a 7, not bad. Considering our defence difficulties that we have, got a few goals in the process. Even Firmino got a few goals for us, didn't play great. Cobell, big question mark, but maybe he needs a, a further season with us. There you go, we came second. 20 points behind Liverpool. I think last season we got 77 or 78 points. So we didn't even beat that. But then look at rest. That's how tight down there is getting Man City third, Man United fourth, Chelsea, Arsenal, Newcastle, Watford, Villa and Burnley go down. And then Champions League, obviously we got knocked out by Real Madrid, even though that we lost at their ground, we beat them at our ground and then we drew and then obviously in the quarterfinals we drew at home. We did just that 3-1 loss was just too much to come back from. Obviously for Emirates Cup, we won, we beat Man United, Everton, Blackpool, Southampton, Liverpool and Leeds United. And then in the Carabao Cup, we beat Charlton, Blackpool, Newcastle, Man U twice and Liverpool in the final. Biggest win for us was 7-1 against Olympiacos. And then for league, match to remember, we beat Arsenal 4-0. Kieran Tierney got sent off, which paved the way for us. But to be fair, we was already winning 3-0 at that sending off. And then Sun just finished it off. Goal of season, Benton Cure. He got top quality strike from Tottenham central midfielder as he scores a fierce effort from 24 metres. I only got two Premier League managers of the month in October and January. Club awards, fans playoff season, Sun, then young player of the season, Kalaveski. I mean, he's 24 years old now. I wouldn't say that he's young. Signing of season, I reckon Kim Min Jae. But I reckon it was Kalaveski. Kane got 39 goals. I think even our backup striker, Makioko, got 16 goals. So that just shows us a lot of goals between the pair. Record breakers. I mean, Son, 21 assists. Player of the matches, 12. And Kane, he's now 224 goals up. England player of the year, Harry Kane, and for NXGN, I think it's like for Wonder Kids of, or for Youth Award or whatever it is, uh, Mikey OK won it. History and for making. Once Tottenham got rolling early in the season, it looked hard to stop them. And then I'll take this snapshot. 100 games as a manager of Tottenham manager, and we beat Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final. If you missed that episode, go check it out in the above link. And then obviously we became FA Cup winners to finish the season off. Haaland. Top goal scorer. Oh my God. 48 goals, 43 appearances. What a beast. Harry Kane, I thought he had a good season getting 39 goals, but nope. And then you've got uh, Human Son. 24 goals, 21 assists. Is no one else scoring for Man City? Is that what the problem is? Another successful season. Obviously, first season we came third. Second season we've come second. Can we win for league next season? Can we knock Liverpool off? 20 points difference. I think I'm not going to worry about Carabao Cup this year. I'm not going to worry about the FA Cup this season. It is all focus on Premier League. Can we win it? I think we can with the signings I'm bringing in. Maybe Champions League could be there as well. If you want to find out how we do, as I said before, hit that subscribe button. Hit for like so this video goes out to our world. And I'll catch you on for the next one. Thank you for watching.